All these moves are possible in the Sicilian defense because there are many ways to achieve the goal of enlightenment, just like the Sicilian has many theories and conspiracies, Bishop b5 came to double up my pawns, that's the reason why I didn't consider e6, I just played g6 because I wanted to double up the bishop in this high way, Leela just castled, and you can see that she just brought her knight and bishop and castled, she is playing very secretly. And when she played rook to e1, putting the rook into this half-open file rather than developing the queen side or playing the elephant variation, which is also playable, I just played e5 on the board because I wanted to control the center squares, knight e7, followed by f5 or d6, can arrive to gain control over the f5 outpost, therefore, Leela just built her structure by playing d3, opening up the bishop's diagonal where knight to f6 is no longer possible for me, so, I played knight to e7. Focusing on attacking white by considering f5 or d5 on the board with the power of the monkey king knight, the bishop moved back because she wanted to pin the knight to my king, so at this point, I could no longer play f5 on the board, she then considered a4, aiming to develop her queen side in many possible ways to attack my queen side, I played h6, the idea is clear, I want to put my king there and play f5 on the board. This strategic pawn structure is also considered by many chess grandmasters who apply it in their games, especially in the Rui Lopez Sicilian and the modern variation, which allows access to open up the f5 file for the rook. Additionally, knight to f5 is possible to re-rotate the knight, push the pawn forward, and play knight to g6 to seize control over the king's side, also, queen to e8 is a very good choice in many variations to keep an eye on the h5 square, that's my whole plan, as my arrows show here, the knight moves here, the king goes there, and you can see that I am preparing to consider f5 on the board because the king is no longer there for the bishop to attack, the knight on c3 is controlling these center squares. But that's not too bad for me, Leela is trying her best, and I am slowly developing my position where f5 is now possible, she played h3 to protect the square where bishop to g4 is not possible because of the threat of playing knight to d4, attacking the knight on f3, here, I immediately show my brilliance by playing a5, and many of you might say this a5 move is nonsensical because after a5, I lose control over the protection of the b5 square. Where the knight can easily come and seize control over the dark squares, that's why I am a world champion, and you are just a 2000 elo rated player, you play with theory and memory, but I play because I know what will happen behind the move after 20 30 or even 50 moves, of course, the knight can go to b5 to create some dominance, but a single knight cannot do much or damage my position seriously because my queen's diagonal is there, and I am going to attack you on the king side by playing f5. You can see that my king's position with this structure is very precious. At this point, many players might think of capturing the pawn on f5, which is just an intermediate move because I can easily capture the pawn back with my knight, and by capturing the f5 pawn, you lose control over the d5 square, therefore, you would need to consider c3 to protect the square from the knight invading, but you also create another weakness on the d3 square, therefore, I could consider d5, kicking out the bishop, and play b6, controlling these pawns. You can see that this center pawn holds significant value in my center, where d4 is not possible, I can push the pawn forward, also, c4 cannot be played because I have the d pawn majority in the center while you only have two pawns there, this will be a very good position for me. Going back to the position, we discovered that capturing the pawn on f5 is a very bad choice, that's why Leela Zero is not a human chess player but a foolish player, like you, she considers c3 to protect the square from invasion, but let me remind you, Leela Zero, that I am the most powerful chess computer worldwide, and nobody can defeat me in chess, I played bishop to b7, and my strategy is that whenever you dare to capture my pawn on f5, I will gain an open rook file and a knight on f5. Leela tries to defend and attack f5, but this bishop e6 move is rubbish because after rook f6, followed by queen d7, I have an advantage because you wasted two moves to put the bishop in restraint and move it back to the starting position again, I get 1 to 2 and rook to f8, totaling 3 developing moves, allowing me to double up my rooks and attack you on the king's side, 
Your two unnecessary moves give me the opportunity to build my attack faster. At this point, I played a very astonishing move, can you guess which move I dared to consider here? I played the great move g5 on the board because I am preparing to attack you on the king side, and most of your pieces are on the queen side, how can you protect yourself? Here, if you play any ordinary move, such as queen to c2, I can push the pawn to g4, and after the exchanges, the knight will be under attack, the knight would have to move, allowing me to capture the pawn on f2, and this rook on f2 is very annoying, right? Therefore, you might need to take some medicine or sleeping pills to attack my rook by playing rook to f1, but hold on, I can lock down your position with g3, shutting down the gate, closing the garage, where my queen can come, and knight to g6 can arrive on the board with the possibility of playing d5, attacking the pawn with the knight, this opens up the bishop's diagonal that I placed on the b7 square long ago, that's my whole strategy, and Leela zero, I will play in another game with you in my bed. So, let me share an inspirational quote in sudden with you. Remember that stress doesn't come from what's going on in your life, it comes from your thoughts about what's going on in your life. So, going back to the original, we discovered that any normal kind of move can put you in my ice cream, therefore, Leela played a very tactical move here, bishop takes g5, sacrificing the bishop of course, I could capture it, which I did in the game, because she could recapture and put the knight into the holes that have some potential weaknesses on the light squares, the bishop comes into the e6 square by Leela, and here many players might think of capturing the bishop because why not. But after knight takes g5, forcing the king to retreat, she can capture the queen, and after all the exchanges occur, she will attack my rook. In this position, white has a one-point advantage despite being material down because my attacks are reduced, and white has two rooks against my two minor pieces, which is considerable and also playable for both sides. But in our actual game, instead of capturing the bishop, I played a daring move, queen back to d8, after knight captures on g5, attacking the king, she played knight to g7, offering a lotus flower to my queen and king, but I said, no, I don't need your lotus, let me capture the knight, after exchanges, we have queen to d7 because I need to conclude the position with my attacks, the knight moves back, and my knight maneuvered to the d8 square, attacking the bishop, after the bishop moves. We have knight to g6 followed by knight to e6. Here, Many players might think of capturing the knight, which is not so good, there's a variation behind knight takes bishop, I mean, bishop takes knight, but if I dared to show that variation, the video would be very long because the alternative variation needs almost 20 moves, and you cannot calculate 20 moves ahead in your mind, that's why the king slides, and we have knight to f4, attacking the pawn, where there is a possibility of opening up the bishop, the rook can come into the g6 square attacking your pawn, and also the knight to h4 can create so much pressure on the g2 pawn, it's like you spent so much on your credit card and ended up with loans taxes and financial problems. Alright, the position will be very bad for Leela zero, Leela has to play very carefully, therefore, Leela just considered rook to e3, and we have the powerful move, bishop to h6, there is an attack on the rook with a discovered attack that allows me to capture the pawn on the g2 square, here, many players might think of considering rook to f3, if you ask them why they would play this move, it just looks good and natural, but do you know, in chess, these natural looking moves are just a waste, they're garbage. Because I can now play an impossible looking move, knight takes g2, you search for natural looking moves, and I search for impossible looking moves, that's why I am a world champion, and you are just an inferior chess player compared to me, if you dare to capture the knight, I will play knight to h4 check, forking the pieces. Instead of moving back the king and protecting it, if you dare to play king to g3 to protect the rook, queen to g7 will arrive. You can see that the king has literally no square to go, leading to a checkmate after queen to g2. Alright, so going back to the position, we discovered that any rook move is a very bad choice, 
that's the reason why even rook to g3 is not possible, because there's knight to h5, and the rook will be overwhelmed by my pieces on the board, therefore, Leela just played rook to g1, she said, take my rook if you wish, I said, no, first let me expose your center by playing d5, this is my chess tactic and strategy, as you can see in my game, I don't attack my opponent immediately, I first open up my pieces, develop them, ensure my king's safety, and then combine pieces to attack my opponent with full pressure, if you dare to capture the center, I will capture it with my knight, after the rook moves, knight to a4 will arrive, attacking the pawn. Even if you dare to play f3 to close the diagonal, this position will be over for you because I can now sacrifice my knight on the h3 square, attacking the rook, there's a possibility of, well, I mean, the h-file getting wide open, knight to f2 check can come, queen to h7 can arrive, and the white king will be utterly diminished. Alright, going back to the position, we discovered that a center exchange is not possible for Leela, she just played bishop to b5, attacking my queen, after the queen moves, there are some pawn exchanges, and finally, d4 is on the board. After the rook moves, we have bishop takes e4 on the board, you can see that I built my pawn structure very powerfully, and your rook on g3 is just valueless because the knight can move back to attack it, the king goes over, and we have some pawn exchanges in the center, you can see that all my pieces are combined to attack white, my queen and knight are jointly attacking, the rook has an open file, and bishop to f4 can arrive to seize control over this diagonal, I also have a passed pawn. And you can see how my attacks last forever, it's like an immortal chess game, in this version, Leela played b3, after a few moves, we have a queen exchange proposal by Leela 0, but I declined her proposal because I have the attitude to show off in front of girls, I asked Leela to exchange queens with herself because if she dares to capture my queen, after capturing, you can see that the rook on g3 will be paralyzed, the rook cannot move anywhere. And I'm going to consider bishop to f4 to attack with the rook, this position will be just over for you. So, going back to the position, instead of capturing the queen, we have f3, but that doesn't matter to me because after exchanges, we have the bishop here, you can see that the rook again gets trapped, and Leela asks herself why she put her rook in front of the pawn structure, the rook is now trapped. At the end of the day, you can see that I have three major pieces and one rook against your two major pieces and one rook, this position is completely winning for me because I have the passed pawn. And slowly but surely, I will win the game, capture the rook, and you can see how the bishop is just doing its best job, finally, I checkmated Leela 0 with my rook on h5, so, it's time to go to dinner with Leela 0 because I bet Leela 0 that I would go to dinner with her, I hope you enjoyed the game very much, if so, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel, best wishes always, bye bye take care and see you soon.